freedom. A word that sounds music to our ears and we really want to have it because when we don't free. We we are humans and we are creation that we are submitted to respond to a call and whether it is a, a good or bad um, all of us we have a responsibility to uh, fulfill and whether I like it or not we are trapped on it and we have to choose which way we go uh, which team we play with uh, it depends uh, how much uh, uh, tired we are in any side then we we call as a human we call repentance or we call uh, changing or moving uh, changing or moving um, changing lifestyle uh, it's something that we can call any name we want it it doesn't matter anymore because uh, what really matters is what we are living what we are uh, doing what's going what's going on with us what happened to us it doesn't matter if we have a, a social position uh, higher uh, than the others uh, it doesn't matter if we live in a far uh, far far away place or if we, we if or if we live in among a, a, a big gathering it doesn't matter if we live in a village or if we live in a big city it does not really matter it makes no difference but freedom is something that everyone every human is seeking there is there is a, 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 a career there is a run a, a, there is a, <clears throat> a competition let's say <coughs> that every one of us has about freedom but then uh, there is a, a there is a way to to get that freedom but there is no a freedom that we think because um, sometimes we think that freedom is finding when we lie down on the beach uh, under the sun and if you feel uh, extremely hot then we just jump in the water refresh ourselves and come back again to lie down in the sun then after that if we feel hungry we just open the bag and uh, and eat some tin from there or, or then when we feel tired we just going back to our, our uh, uh, resting place and lie down there so there's there's something uh, that we can we, we just name you know we can explain you know, we can do this you know everyone everyone looking at that but we know that it's not we're not talking about that freedom this is a, a temporary a very short period of time freedom uh, we're talking about uh, permanent freedom and everlasting freedom and that is only founded in Jesus Christ that is only founded when we come close to God to our Creator because we have been created by our Creator we have been uh, uh, made by uh, God himself the Lord has made us as his own image and he wants us to glorify his name so freedom is fine is being found in Jesus Christ only. Yeah. So if you're looking if you're looking for freedom, you just want to find it, that freedom is just in Christ the Savior. There's nowhere else. If you keep searching, it does it does okay. Uh, it doesn't matter if you if you uh, stop or, or or you just don't want to search. It does not really matter. What it matters is that is that's the way it is. Why? Because um, that's the way the Lord God, our Creator, had proposed, and He had made His plan already uh, for it to be done that way. So uh, the 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 secret he released to us, the, 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 the truth that he released to us is in Christ Jesus. That's the truth. Jesus is the truth. Why I say that? Why? Why? Yeah, well, I say that because that's why I have found it and I share it to you uh, what it is within me now. Uh, I went trapped and live uh, as a slave for 30 years and, uh, and, and I was really uh, uh, unhappy and, and, and suffering in disease and misuse and, and trapping in all manners or uh, all kind of pains and uh, and being desolated and well you just name it 
and take it from here. I'm a brother of t uh, a brother of ten uh, uh, in a family, but I found myself living by my own in a in a faraway country where it's the different language. I had to learn this language. I had to learn this different language so it can make my life. But then the Lord has brought me to home and had allowed me to live as a family with a big gathering. Now. He multiplies my family and he gives me freedom. So that's freedom. So the Lord is saying that he is the only one. Apart from him, there is no, no one else. Isaiah 43, 11 says that there's only one true God and that is the only one we should seek. If you seek somebody else, it's fine. He won't. He won't. He will not really oppose to you. He he will not really uh, come to fight you. No, no. He will. He's he's telling you the truth and allow you to live your free will, because that and that is where you you will experience and that is where you learn. And when you come to your father, you come as a free person, and that you will serve him freely. Now, in the book of John eight thirty one, it says that. And when you know this true, when you know this, this, this statement, when you know this message, and then you will take a good decision to follow in and to practice in it, then you will find a true, a, a, a true freedom. So freedom is finding in Christ Jesus. You will know the truth and you will be free. And who is the truth? The truth is Jesus Christ. The, who is Jesus Christ? The Word of God. That whole book is the knowledge that is when we get inside then we have Christ in our sides, Christ in our mind and we follow and then we are safe. Now the same book, the same book uh, on the book of uh, uh, John chapter 8 verse uh, 36 it says this, if Jesus Christ delivers you then you will be free, free indeed. And who is Jesus Christ? I mean, the war of God. When you read the Word of God, when you learn it, when you practice it, you are free living in those uh, teachings, living in this Jesus Christ, living in this uh, 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 birth, then they will set you free. So if you know Jesus Christ, then you will be free because you know the truth. Then if that truth sets you free, then you will be free indeed. So that, that is a, a, a quite a little bit deep statement to know in a very short period of time right here. But I just tell you, if you have a, a chance to get a Bible, just open that book and read. Having, uh, uh, check me out. Check me out. Yeah, Isaiah 43, 11. You will find out there's only one God that say that. And he, the, he, the one who does everything. Then if you go jumping into John chapter 8, 31, it said, if you know this truth, if you know the truth, you will be free. Which truth? That word, this, 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 this message is there. And then if you jump into uh, uh, John at, uh, chapter 8, verse 36, it says that if the Son will set you free, then you will be free indeed. So when we free, we free when we have Christ Jesus with us. And that's why I'm asking you today to Think about that. It doesn't matter if you want to go left or right. Um, I mean, this is, or if you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. The plan will not be changed. The plan is set already there and it will be follow the instruction that is there. And no one, we, we, we can change it that. We are a small beings uh, before a great mass big uh, uh, creator. So, true. If you find it that true, which is Christ Jesus, you will be free. Finding freedom is just in Christ the Savior. And apart from Him, there is no Savior. That's God Himself. Isaiah 43, verse 11. Just read it there. And you can read everywhere else as well. You can add it more because that's we need to add more knowledge. That knowledge will set you free. And that knowledge is coming from Jesus Christ. So I'm going to ask you today to encourage yourself to think about that what are you doing and what you will be doing and how we want to do that and see if you're really free if you're really happy if you're really content with what you're doing otherwise just go and then the lord jesus is waiting for you say lord jesus i make you my lord my savior help me to find this freedom and thank you for your kindness and love and then if you find that 
you happy. God bless you.